If you're unhappy with your nose, the good news is Dr. Molliver and the team at HBRS can help. This is the HBRS Medical Minute with Dr. Clayton Molliver. Dr. Molliver, it's rhinoplasty, better known as? A nose job. A nose job. Sure. I'm coming in, what's happening? What do you talk to me about? You know, we want to know what's bothering you the most. Is yeah. it the bump on your nose? Is it a breathing problem? So it could be functional or it could be cosmetic. Most of our patients are cosmetic. When we see you, we're going to do some imaging. We're going to take some pictures. We're going to show you what you look like so we can both look at you. Maybe the chin is a little bit diminutive. Maybe the forehead is a little bit too high. And we can balance these things out as part of the surgical plan. So I've gotten my consultation. We know the game plan. What happens in the surgery? You know, we bring you to surgery. It's going to be a small incision under the, underneath the nose. The rest of the incisions, the rest of the operation happens inside the nose. So there's no outside scar to speak of. We're in there, we adjust the cartilage, maybe we trim it a little bit, we do some suturing, sometimes we put a little graft in there, maybe we take down the bump, and then we maybe fracture or bring the nose in to make it a bit more narrow if it's a wide nose. And that can cause a bit of bruising underneath or along the eyes. Yeah. Sometimes no bruising, sometimes there is. And then a splint is applied on the outside. So recovery aside from the splint, is that it? That's it, you know. The sutures come out uh, in a few days or they dissolve away. The splint comes off at a week and you're good to go. Good as new. Thanks, yeah. Dr. Molliver. For more information on rhinoplasty, go to myhbrs.com.